Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 5.3 for S1, October, November of 2002. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the questions that I have for you today. So let's move on to uh, question number one. So we have 50 values of the variable x are summarized by these two. So now we have 50 values, which means n, the number of values, have to be 50. Right. Now we have these information right here. This is this, and this is this. Right. Now, finally, we have to find the variance of these 50 values. Now, before we begin doing the question, we have to know how do you find variance. Now, we should know variance is a formula here. Variance, right, is equal to summation of x squared over n minus summation of x over n squared. As you can see, before we proceed to even do the questions, we have to know what are we trying to find. Variance is defined by this formula. So first, let's focus on finding these values before doing that. Now, we should know, what is this? Summation of x over n is just the, the mean. So now we can find this using, using the given values over here, one by one. Um, so first thing first, how can we break this down? So if I tell you a times x minus 20, expand, how would you expand this? You will say, well, a x minus 20a. So same thing, that will be summation of x minus summation of 20 is equal to 35. Now this is, we don't know yet, so let's write this down. But this we know, summation of 20 is what? Is a value of summation of 20 is basically 20 times n, which is 50. That will be what? That will be 1,000. Okay? So we have this here, and this over here, you will have 1,035 for the value of summation of x. Now to find this one, divide by n, so summation of x, divided by n will be what? 50, that should become 20.7. Here you go. So now we have this already, now we have to find this one. Well, we don't have to find it because they gave you this already, so we just plug this back in. So finally, the variance is going to be the value of summation of x squared given to you right here. So let's plug this back in, you'll have 25, 0, 3, 6, divided by n, which is 50, minus, this is the mean, which is this one, 20.7 square. So 25036 divided by 50, minus 20.7 square. That should be 7, 2, and 2, 3. This is the exact value, so you provide the exact value as your answer. And this is your question number one. As you can see, we have to know this formula here to solve the question. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.